This is Eddie Earl Watkins. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about dreaming. You know, when we were small children, we had such vivid imaginations. There was nothing that we couldn't do. There was no place that we couldn't go or there was no one that we couldn't be. I can remember when I was about nine or 10 years old that one of my favorite cartoons was Superman. I watched Superman so much that I knew that I was Superman. I used to tie a towel around my neck and climb up on our apartment and jump off time and time again. I was flying in my mind. You know, I think all of us when we were small, we were one superhero or another. And then something happened. Well, what happened? Well, I think that as we got older, we went to school and then the programming started. Society and our teachers started with, you can do this, don't do that. You can't do that. And then we got out of school and we found a company. We went to work for that company. And for whatever reason, the company didn't pay us as much money as we thought we were worth. They, they didn't treat us as good as we thought we were treated. So we went to work for another company and the same thing happened. We went to work for another company and the same thing happened. Then over a period of time, I think we kind of just settled in and realize that, well, this is all life has to give us. So I guess I'll just have to make best do. But it doesn't have to be that way. I like what the motivational speaker Les Brown says, that life is a fight for territory. When you stop fighting for what you want, what you don't want automatically takes over. This next statement might alarm a few people, but we can design our lives the way that we want it to be and make it happen. In this book, Think and Grow Rich, if you're interested in accumulating wealth, that's what this book is all about. The author, Dr. Napoleon Hill, spent 25 years of his life studying people. He studied rich people and he studied poor people. He found out what made rich people rich and what made poor people poor. But just studying this book, just reading this book won't do you much good. There's action steps. There's a blueprint in this book for becoming wealthy. This book has made countless millionaires. So if you're interested in, in becoming wealthy, get yourself a copy of this book. Not only read it, but follow the action steps. This has been your boy, Eddie Earl Watkins. Make it a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.